Hello everyone, today's reading is going to be a soulmate twin flame reading. I'm going to see what I can pull. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, my website will be in the description box below. I'm going to start off with some oracle cards. So automatically I'm seeing some of you have to, some of you are going through a phase where either you're releasing someone and focusing on yourself, but it's more like a getaway with yourself. Because I have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So the fact that you value yourself, some of you, and you're willing to walk away, that's what makes you more romantically attractive. The retreat is just you walking away, getting to yourself. It's a person here, but it says it's time to disconnect from the world. Some of you have to get your thoughts together. Some of you could have been in relationships or have twin flame energy where it's a lot of back and forth, no communication, and it's just tiresome. Also, religious factors. Spiritual. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Meaning you guys could have been in church. You just could have been any little thing. This religious factor is more of not religion for me. It's more of doing what makes you happy. So your love life is, effect, is influenced by, you know, doing what, what suits you the best. No more of... Wanting someone to come back around and they're not there. You have to love yourself first. Get the self-respect that you deserve. Like walk away because it makes you more romantically attractive. The fact that you're not willing to stay there and put up with anything. The time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. Some of you may be having letters you want to write. Or you're just tired of this situation. But this is all about releasing something. Getting away, disconnected from the world. Doing what you love religiously. doing Just doing what suits you best. And loving yourself first. I'm going to leave these cards out. I also do have a new website. I'll link that. In the description box below <clears throat> six of cups reversed so yeah there's no more <laughs> this is definitely about like letting something go or not being naive for some of you six of cups reversed there's no more happy memories there's no more thinking about this person or it might be but it's not where it was before for some of you that's um, Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you, I saw the Two of Cups. Some of you are just wanting to move on from a situation. I'm going to see. It may seem as if when some when someone is completely done with the situation, that's when the person comes back. The Empress, fertility, feminine energy. Empress just is someone who has very, very high feminine energy. More like taking care of herself, getting herself worked together, focusing on herself, getting back the love. Changing out of that angry energy because of the other person, someone that was disappointing you. Some of you are getting back on your throne, getting your power back, your feminine energy.
you could have um, gave this person a lot. Could have also gave this person happiness. I feel like some of you are realizing how much cups, I want to say how much emotion you gave to someone or how emotional this situation was for some of you. Meanwhile, I'm feeling like the other person, the person who some of you have a tie to, is feeling kind of like the Five of Cups. They're feeling lost, like they're, they, they were building up something or something has been built up for a while. And it still doesn't feel right without that other pinnacle. Because the Seven of Pentacles is there. Someone had a long-term vision with you, and it could have been financial situations. However, they're looking at it, and it's kind of like indecisive, back and forth. At one point in time, it was the Ten of Cups. Everything was just happy, alignment, bliss, things together. But then it turned into the Seven of Pentacles. Someone, this is like someone, some of you are like feeling your self worth, getting your happiness back. Meanwhile, the other person is thinking about what you guys were supposed to complete, but not really wanting to complete it or not really putting in the last pinnacle they need to work up to the Ten of Pentacles because it's only seven. So they have to leave and get some type of mental clarity. Either you, either some of you left or someone has left you in order to get mental clarity over a situation. Someone, someone is going through a transition, a mental shift. And people go through mental shifts when the romance angel, when you when you walk away, you let that person know what, what you know. You have to switch things up. Let that person know what they're missing. Because I feel like some of you have always been there or allows this person to do crazy stuff to you. And it's no more that. Knight of Swords, yes, this person definitely comes back and forth a lot. Their energy could just be... Um, very high as in this card they they come in and I feel like that's why they left too they also could have been hiding stuff from you financially definitely gave this person a lot of um a lot of, a lot of happiness happy times you guys had together but it's still some like weighing out that they're having that they're having to do And this person is someone who definitely, I want to say, creates a storm. But that mental clarity that, that some of you are getting or that that person is getting trying to get away, they're rushing back, right back into it. Like, like, don't leave. Let's see, why is this Ten of Cups here? popped out again five of wands it was definitely some fighting going on with you all could have gave this person all the happiness they wanted in the world but because of that so indecisiveness that i'm saying someone just wasn't happy it was like back and forth always something to complain about there's a lot of conflict a lot of disagreeing so, you know, meanwhile, it's like one person maybe thought everything was going good, but then other person just always has some type of disagreement or conflict. Meaning, also meaning that you guys can never meet up, get together, plan anything, or when it happened, it was some type of situation, always something. Could have had other people in a situation too. And other people could have been, yeah, okay, so Three of Swords, that's a card of Aries. I feel like a lot of different people were involved in some of you all's relationship. Someone was definitely controlling too, the Emperor. 
on their throne and that's their throne. This person is very, they could over talk you. Might be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, because this fire emperor, which is a major arcana. But this is someone who feels as if they know it all. They could have different entrepreneur business things that they're trying to do. And it's like they have to get their self together mentally too. And that's like that six of swords. I feel like both of you have, or some, some of you have to just, oh boy, leave a situation in order to figure out what it really is supposed to be. Leave it as that. Leave it as that. See, why is this six of swords here? Why is this six of swords here? Sorry for my train in the back, if you guys can hear that. Too many cards fell. King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Death card, Scorpio. Powerful change, new beginnings. Definitely switching some stuff up here. Why is this six of swords here? Yeah, I feel like the hangman, someone, um, I feel like someone's life is on hold because either they lost you and they realize, I pulled the Ten of Cups twice. Some of you gave somebody so much emotion or you had a lot of emotion for them that you would do anything for them. You would bend over backwards. You would kind of create new situations. You would take them back. Something of that energy. And somebody has a very big ego here. Meanwhile, one of you had to leave in order to get mental clarity, and I'm feeling like it's the other person because of the, the I'm sorry, nine of cups and ten of cups is what I pulled. I didn't pull two ten of cups. But nine and ten of cups is like the highest emotion that you could have for someone. Ten of Cups is all about being happy with someone. Coming together and you feel aligned. You feel like this is everything you've ever wanted. Even though you guys might not have anything created to the max yet because of that Seven of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Cups is like, they were satisfied when they were with you. They were comfortable. This is somebody who was, or who is still very comfortable with you. And... The three of swords that I pull, I definitely feel like somebody is confused on a situation or they're confused on what to do with you all situation. Someone could be in a third party relationship and feel as if you are the one and, you know, it's, it's, it's comfort, it's satisfaction, it's happiness, it's alignment, it's everything you guys want, but without the pinnacles involved. The pinnacles were the Seven of Pentacles, something that was trying to get long-term and complete. If they're not in a third-party situation, this is someone who you just gave a lot of emotion to, and they have to leave emotionally, And because Swords is all about intellectual, intellectual conversations. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, that represents Swords. So this is someone who had to leave in order to figure out why you care for them so much, or why the situation is like this. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords, too, is a person who is very hasty and opinionated. That's why that card is rushing in like that. The same energy as the Emperor. That's why I said this person could have an opinion about everything. They could kind of, like, critique you and let you know when you're doing something bad. They have an opinion about everything, and they're also very driven. Like, they're going to do what they want to do, or they're going to get what they want to get. Which definitely means some of you were left out in the cold because of this person's energy. Meaning that some of you could have really, really terrible arguments one day, or in the next hour, they're gone doing what they have to do. Kind of leaving you as like the um, Eight of Swords. Six of 
cups. So now it's switched over. This person definitely realizes. I feel like some of you are not. Okay, there's a lot of passion and lust in this situation. But however, I feel like some of you are over the happy, over, not, no longer thinking about the happy times you guys had together. The energy has moved on to this person. They're realizing how much you did for them. You all could have known each other since you were kids or just for a very long time too. But this situation is innocent. And that's what's driving this person crazy is that it's such an innocent situation. And they're getting mental clarity over it. Some of you all definitely had good times when you came together. Definitely had good times because the Knight of Wands is here. Energy, passion, lust, adventure. Somebody that's ready to adventure with you. And that, that could have led that could have led to um the five of wands. They're curious about you. Page of swords. They're energetic. Five of cups. I'm ooh, sorry. Eight of cups. So they're curious about you. Sorry about that. They're curious about you. They're passionate. They're thinking about happy times. This is someone who has left too. If you're still with this person, in a relationship with this person, this is not a reading for you. This is about some people who have left each other and someone left to get mental clarity and two people are not really um, talking right now or something like that because of the hanged man that I saw. And this page of swords is somebody being curious about you. Which means they might not no longer talk or you all might not talk. But they're definitely energetic. Yeah. Somebody who wants their cake and they want to eat it too. That type of energy. This is somebody who's real. So they're curious about you. They're thinking about happy times. They're thinking about how they was comfortable with you. I'm seeing every sign, cup, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Only pulled like one pinnacle so far. But this is persistence right here. And that's why I said this Emperor card is somebody who honestly like won't leave you alone. Like they're going to be there. They might see you from a distance. They might be around your area. Something like that. But they're very persistent. In what they do. Yeah. Queen of Swords. I saw the fool. Some of you could have told someone off. You could always have arguments with, the, with this person. And you could just... Completely talk to this person as if they were a blind wall. Meaning that you don't allow for them to, you don't allow for them to come in. Because they, they never fully come in. They're always looking at a distance or trying to be so persistent that it might bother some of you when there's not, there's emotion there but it's nothing Built up, I want to say to that. And if it is built up, it's, it's just things are not leveled. But they're so persistent. And I feel like that's why this person is also confused on why they're so persistent with you. Why is this Six of Cups here? I saw the hair farm, which is Taurus. Scorpio, death card, powerful change. 
the stars. So definitely some of you are not talking to this person right now. You 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 both are going through a powerful change. Something mental. The death card does. It comes through and it wipes everything out. Okay, so the hermit, the lovers, and nine of swords. Twin flame energy. Soulmate energy. The hermit is Virgo. Oh, I'm sorry, I have four pen I have two of pentacles too. So they were definitely trying to manage something here. Changing up some things. Trying to manage and balance out things. Trying to adapt to you. So this person could have been around you for a period of time. And they could have been trying to get to know what you do. Or just trying to adapt to your situation. The hermit represents Virgo. Which means that they had to once again be by their self and think about some things. They have to get some self-discipline. And I feel like you are not talking right now because they had to discipline their self. Somebody had to slow it down a little bit. Meanwhile, some of you could be tied down in a situation or they could be tied down in a situation because I see the nine of swords. Sorry, eight of swords. depression way down so this is like it's like someone is confused on why they feel this way about you or something like that because they can't explain it so they're trying to adapt to it they're trying to balance their own self out but it is the lover situation some of you could have been just that's all you needed to be together it was maybe nature and you all you guys didn't need a lot because this is it's a deeper connection than that And that's what's changing up is this lover's energy. Trials and tribulations is the lovers. That's why so much grass and flowers that have blossomed. But someone's someone is feeling like they can't either get to you or like I keep saying, it's like a missed opportunity for something. Things never really go in you all's favor. favor. Why is this two of pentacles here? Two of Wands. Trying to balance time and also try to move on. I don't want to say move on, but just discover more progress. Discover more with you. So someone could be coming back to just either maybe sweep you up off your feet or just come back and get on good terms with you. But as you see, the Two of Wands, the other person is not there. But that's who, that's who they want. That's what they want. They, I just want to say they want to progress with you. They want to discover more stuff with you. And you all definitely have the moon. You guys know each other up and day, up and down. You guys might think, you, think about each other night and day. And I feel like some of you were just... Somebody really had to leave and get their self together because that's your all they thought about or something like that. That they had to get some sight. They had to get some type of self discipline. Also, they had to get some self discipline because of oh the devil card. Lord have mercy. Mm. They had to get some self discipline maybe because they were attached to something that you all didn't see. Because that's what it is, Capricorn energy. They had to get that the hermit, which represents Virgo. Underneath it is the devil, which represents Capricorn. They both fall in the same aspect of finance and material. So this is someone who is either addicted to like spending money. They're addicted to whoever has the better things for them. They're going to where or who can, you know, do more for them. 
And that's what's conflicting them. They're not going to where their heart is because this person is so logical and they're such a routine. But you're the person that they want to be with. They want to progress with you. This person could also be tied up with someone else and not happy. Someone is controlling them. Why is this not a sword here? Judgment. Yeah, so definitely. They are being judged by either family or someone that they have a child with because the judgment card is here. And that's why they're feeling weighed down, defeat, loss, trauma. Feeling like they lost you. They're feeling a little bit of trauma. But I also feel like their judgment is to be with the other person for a while, at least. I'm going to keep it 100% honest to what I see. Because this person thinks logical. They don't really think emotional, which, you know, Capricorn energy, which just means it could just be a sexual or sensual relationship with them. Because by the time they get through with all of that stuff, it's right back to work the next day or right back to doing what they, this part, these people have, whoever this is, for some of you soulmate twin flames, they have such a, a strict life that if they were to get emotionally attached to you, which they really want, it will slow them down. It will confuse them. Which just means to me that someone is not putting on their adult clothes. Someone is not being like an adult. This person is not even happy, though. And I saw the tower card, which definitely means that judgment, something came up. And tower, it's, it's illusions, it's suspicion. This person is in a situation where they might be getting yelled at because they, they've been suspicious. Also, I feel like the tower card, some of them are having a tower moment, which just means, you know, like, Seven of Cups is fantasy. Tower, to me, is just, they're in a situation, they could be living with someone, around someone, but this person thinks that they're doing a lot of different things, and they probably are, and that energy is popping up there because they're really not with the person who they want to be with, and the person knows something. Whoever this person is dating or whoever this person is with, whoever this person is um, tied to or keeps on using, they know about your energy. Something like that. Why is this lover's card here? Two cards popped up. Just want one. Why is this lover's card here? Okay, well, it fell reverse. It's going to do reverse. Mm. Five of Swords. So they already know with you that you're upset. Or some of you can no longer be upset. Because the Five of Swords is conflict, win-lose. It's like with you, it's a, it was a win-lose situation. It was conflict. But now it's no longer conflict with some of you because the judgment card is here. The truth has came out. That's why I said some of you are just over this. Over this whole situation because I honestly see someone doing stuff with someone just to get them through the day. This is someone who would be in a relationship and think that it's the best thing in the world when they know that it's not. And then they might be scared that you're in something too. It's always like miscommunication. Two of Wands. Why is this Two of Wands here? I'm going to use another deck actually. These cards that I'm about to use do have explicit images on them, so just beware. 
Why is this two of wands here? Why is this two of wands here? <laughs> Three of pentacles. Ooh, this card flew out. Two vessels. I believe the two vessels is. Let me actually see if I can. Because this deck is. Um, I believe the two of vessels is temperance. Trying to create balance. Trying to balance certain things out. But the three of pentacles are just like I said. Teamwork. Collaborating. Trying to create something. So this person. They could be trying to create something with you, but like it's 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 either work related or they they work a lot, but they're definitely creating something. They collaborate with the different people, but this person does work a lot, and while they're working, they're definitely thinking about you. Four of Pentacles, financially cautious, stability, security. This is exactly what I mean. How. Um, the person is, whoever this is, is so financially cautious to hang man. Yeah, their, their life is definitely on hold. But this person is so financially cautious that they're not even, they're scared to get themselves to something else because they don't, they're worried about something not being stable. And this person works a lot. They're a hard worker. Sage of Swords. want to go in eight of cups walking away from a situation leaving your emotions behind maybe still having faith in this person but you had to walk away why is this devil here why is this card here who is this person that they're tied to this addiction i don't want to call it an addiction but something that is not good for them Five of Cups, Lost Regret, <laughs> they're looking around, so look at this, definitely she's in the back breaking stuff, and they're kissing, so this is definitely someone who has either led someone on, or told, you know, they got, they could have got closer to you, you guys could have had relations, or they just could have been coming around. And when they left, that was that's, that was some of you in the back. Upset because of the simple fact that it has came this far. You guys had emotions towards each other. And that's what the devil is. That's why I said I feel like this person um, does things with the other person. Just to kind of pleasure themselves, maybe egos. If someone else is in the back having a fit. Why is this judgment card here? Sage of Swords or Sage of Pentacles. So definitely. Manifestation. Just trying to manifest things. Because this is whoever this is, they work a lot or they love financial career, love money, love to just work. They're always either building something, working on something, fixing something. They have masculine energy. This person definitely puts some of you in a third party situation. Because first I saw the three of swords, but I never pulled it, but it got my attention. And I see a third party situation right here. This also to me is someone, cause she's naked in the back. So they could have had relations with someone else and immediately had relations the same night or the next day or acted as if nothing happened with you two and got into something else. And that's that devil energy. So what cards do I want to pull to end this out? I'll pull, hmm. Pull some guardian angels.
This is just gonna be the closing message. Definitely some of you. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as what to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. And this is what I was saying the whole reading. This person has options, maybe just not one person, but they're definitely in hangman mode. They're not moving forward. They're unable to choose as if who they really want because they know that you all have a tie and they're confused on this situation because, like I keep saying, they are so connected to you, but you guys really might not have anything anything that's like actually physically connected. But when you two are together, it's like it's that um it's the lover's energy. It's the ten of cups, it's the nine of cups, it's comfort and satisfaction. They're unable to choose. They're confused on what direction to take. But deep down, they know what to do. I'm going to pull one more card. Okay, so it's a lot of thoughts here. Which is swords because it's intellectual activity. They're thinking a lot about you. These people are thinkers. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation will provide the answers you're seeking. These people are thinkers. They're overanalyzed. They analyze everything. That's why I said this is a person who could analyze and kind of judge what you do. They could judge everything that you do. Meanwhile, their situation is not good. Because overanalyzing the situation will provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation could be very helpful. So yeah, definitely. Both of you are leaving the Six of Swords. Both of you have to get a mental clarity break. Why'd I put that back? A mental clarity break on the situation. But there's a lot of thinking here because I pulled two thought cards. I know I said that was my last card, but I just... Okay. We have abundance. Abundance is finance and material, money. That's pinnacle. So again, this card is just like the two of thought. Wow. Your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. This is all about doing your passion, doing what you love to do, being around who you love, divine timing, and your life, person, your life purpose will come. Some of you may be interested in taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. So that's the reading for Twin Flame and Soulmate. Um, some of you are just going to have to let this person figure out what they want. Because they have things that they're dealing with that is not... That they don't want to show you because of the type of person that they are. And some of you do not deserve that. You know your worth. So thank you for watching the video. And again, the link to my new clothing store in it. The link to the clothing store is not clothes. It has coffee mugs, teacups, blankets, iPhone cases. But everything is in Zodiac. And of course, my website. So readings will be linked below. Thank you all for watching.